hello everyone welcome to ai anytime channel in this video we are going to look at autogen an open source ai agent framework by microsoft so if you want to build ai agents autogen can be a good starting point there are other frameworks and libraries available like langgraph crew ai so on and so forth but here we're going to look at autogen if you want to find out videos on langgraph and crew ai look at my ai agents playlist now in this video we are going to use ai agents to basically decide between two different cuisines or dishes one is sushi which is probably more of a japanese cuisine and the other one probably a pizza you know which is like an italian pizza kind of a stuff so we're going to ask ai agent to decide between these two okay now if you are a sushi fan or if you are a you know pizza fan for example and if you want an ai agent to decide automatically right so what how agent autogen works i also want to explain that but that's what we're going to look at here so let's first install so i'm going to do pip install pi autogen and then i'm going to do pip install python.env because I will have my secrets in the env and then i'm going to have pip install pi autogen and i'm going to use anthropic so if you don't know what anthropic is i'll show that here you just do anthropic and you get the api key here you know for anthropic you can go to console and you can find out your keys you, know, you can see it over here now if you want to know about autogen you can look at this autogen a programming framework for agentic ai and you can go through their github repository this is how it works you know mainly a multi-agent conversations the agents can join chat and there will be a group manager of the chat and it's more of a collaborative agent framework and that's what i'm going to explain when we write the code now you can see we have installed this successfully probably we also needed to install something else but let's now do that so what i'm going to do is import os from google.colab import user data because i have all of my secrets here in this secrets so you can see i have all of my secrets agent ops anthropic google grok open ai run pod serper tabulite now from autogen import conversable agent yeah you can see it over here it shows me and i think we'll be good now once to do that it will take a bit of time and the next that i'm going to do is get os dot in so i'm going to set the keys and then os dot in one and tropic api key whether it, this is fine and it will ask you to give access so let's grant access and now i'm going to okay because it's it asking two times because for open ai and anthropic we have to do it respectively now the next thing that i'm going to do is config you have to create a config configuration for your llms and inference params and whatnot so i'm just going to do config L, uh, list gpt something like this and you have to decide def, define a list and inside the list you want to define a dictionary with a key value pair so you can look at here model i'm not going to use gpt 3.5 turbo though it had suggested me i'm going to use gpt 4o and then i'm going to use mini and i'm, I'm not going to do this in one i'm just going to use get env because i have set that in environment key and then this becomes a function not a list otherwise it will not be sub you cannot you know extract it from there so api key os dot get env gpt4 o mini this looks good let me just run this i'm just going to copy it here and run the same for anthropic so i'm going to use two different llm but you can also use single llm i just wanted to use two different models so let's use claude and here i'm going to use sonnet model i have written the version for this so let me just do claude and i'm going to use Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and then is the specific version of Sonnet, and then API key is fine, but this will become anthropic, not
and you can also define API type guys if you want so let me just define an API type and the API type can here be here will be it will be anthropic and you can also set other uh, inference params if you want now here what we are doing we have a model Claude 35 sonnet and then we have the version of that model you can see it's basically it's 20th 06 2024 if you look at that way and then os get env when passing the anthropic api key you have to give the same name that you have defined in the secrets and then api type anthropic now the next thing is we're going to de uh, define the agent so let me just define the agents here And you can see I'm just defining a conversable agent. In conversable agent, the first you have to give a name of that, and I'm gonna give this pizza lover or something. So let's call it pizza lover. And then I'm gonna give a system message. So you're gonna give a system message. This is how you define. So in crew AI, that's a different way of defining in Langraph, it's a bit different. But here, you know, this is how you define it. So name, you can give system method, you can give LLM config, you can also give human input mode if you want to give a human input, you know, for a given agent. Now here you can write something like, you know, you are a person who loves pizza and wants to spread its, like how delicious it is, right? Now if you want to spread that, and I'm going to say around the world speak and this is what I'm going to write you know so speak and then you're going to, so system prompt is like based on your uh, expertise guys the domain expertise you know depending on what use case that you are solving you speak passionately about the a little of uh, like pizza or something or you know if you if you want to write uh how quality how powerful in terms of quality and mysterious or fascinating or charming it is right then then what then what you do so here in in case of pizza i'm gonna write I speak passionately about the allure of pizza and its deliciousness uh this is fine our system prompt is fine now we are good with our uh, pizza thingy guys now the next thing that i'm gonna do is you're gonna define an okay. I have to give a comma. If okay, that is there. Let's just hit enter, and now just give the LLM config. Now in the config again a key value pair. So let's define a config list, and then it goes config config list for pizza. Let's let's skip GPT, and we'll see which model also comes up better. But then we have a group judge agent. So we're gonna have a judge agent for this, and then you can write an human mode. So human input mode, and then that goes never. Let me just do that. And then we are good with this. So I'm just going to copy this here for the pizza agent. Come down and then create a sushi agent here. So let me just do a sushi agent. And you can use other use cases, guys, like software development, design development, testing, and different types, you know, research article writing and whatnot. Different use cases you can solve. And here, let's just change pizza to sushi. I want to spread its deliciousness around the world. Speak about the allure of sushi. And, and this is fine. And here we're going to change GPT to Cloud. So let's just change this to Cloud. And this also becomes Never. And I'm just going to copy this again. Come here. And then just paste. And in the Susi now, I'm going to call it Judge Agent. So let me just do a Judge Agent. Judge Agent. And in the Judge Agent, I'm going to call this Judge Agent. Just give a name to this agent. And now here. I'm gonna just bring up everything that I don't need it. Let me just do it. This judge will decide based on the facts and everything which has been presented in front of him by the other two agents. I'm gonna write you are acting as the ultimate facilitator or something or judge. You know, your job is to guide the debate between 
between the two and then you come up with a like result or something right now i'm just gonna write between the two and declare a winner between the two and declare a winner uh based on based on who makes who makes the most convincing convincing argument the and this debate will uh, and you can also give it a bit more purpose based so this debate will be used as a sample in a university class so it is crucial so it is crucial to uh, to declare one winner to declare one winner and once a clear and then we can also make it a bit more once a clear conclusion is reached i think i spelled it wrong conclusion is reached you must declare you must declare that's enough that's enough and and then just like award it and announce the winner and announce the winner and then we can write the debate cannot end without this phrase so make sure to so make sure to include it okay and then i'm gonna write this phrase here and then let's come back and config list I, i'm gonna use gpt 40 for this so let's call it gpt 40 and then here i'm gonna use a termination like let's give a role yeah you can see each termination message and i am not going to use this completely so what i'm gonna do is a bit differently so let's call it lambda message yeah this is making sense in message content this makes sense to me now if you look at here what i'm doing human input mode never and then i put a termination message each you can pass a termination message i'm using lambda and i'm defining the message which is a variable that's enough in message content now we are using gpt and this is fine now let's do this and now i'm gonna have a description so first is pja underscore agent whatever you have named it and you give a description and in description i'm gonna write the ultimate pja fan and just copy paste for susi let's change it and then this pja agent becomes susi here and then you have a judge agent the ultimate no not ultimate ultimate is not the right something like the facilitator who decides the debate winner and now i'm gonna use group chat so from autogen as it's a collaborate the way autogen works is in a collaboration so i'm gonna have a group chat And we can also get group chat manager by the way so we later we don't have to import now group chat and group chat manager now let's define a group chat variable here and in group chat what i'm going to do is i'm going to use group chat and then let's use group chat and in group chat i'm going to define agents and you can see what what had it suggested here pja agent susi agent and judge agent uh, messages is fine now let's keep send introductions that is right let's make this true it's a boolean value and then we can have a speaker selection method and then i'm going to make auto let's decide who will be the speaker max round not 100 is too much i'm going to make it 10 or something and i think we are good so let me just run this here it says invalid okay i forgot to give a comma here so that's fine and now we have a group chat now you need a group chat manager and then the chat results so let me create a group chat manager so now i'm going to have a group chat manager so let me just do and group chat manager and in the group chat manager i'm using group chat manager and passing the group chat which is group underscore chat and in the llm config i'm passing the config here you can see config list gpt so let me just run this 
and then I'm gonna have a chat result so let me just do chat result and then use judge agent that's what you're gonna initiate here so judge agent dot initiate it's a function so it should give me initiate chat and in the initiate chat I'm gonna pass group chat manager and then let's start the debate and then summary methods or something like that uh, summary you can have a summary method and in summary method we can just have probably reflection so there is something called auto and then this is reflection with LLM or something so let, let's try it out otherwise we'll see and let's see that And you can see it has started. Okay, and we got and we got the output for this one for the first iteration that keeps going. You can see the judge agent. It will try for a few times, and you can see the output here. When you and you can also make it a bit colorful if you want to make it colorful. Now, if you go up. Now you can see it here. Okay, let me go a bit up. Excuse me, and it says the Susi lover, the winner of this debate. So it says, and you can go through the description. It gives you the overall persuasion and appeal. It says, pizza lover offered an argument. Let me just go a bit up. In terms of overall, uh, if you look at here. It says, on the other hand, Susi Lover pursuits uh, presented. Uh, on the other hand, Susi Lover presented such an art form focusing on intricate preparations, blah blah blah. And that goes into each dish. Susi was presented as a healthier choice. Pija offered an argument that tapped into the emotional and social aspect that many people value in food. Susi Lover focused on cultural significance and health benefits of Susi. And I think that's more important, presenting it as a refined and holistic experience. Ultimately, while both arguments are compelling, I believe Susi's unique culinary artfulness, health aspect, and sensory experience provide an edge in this debate. And then it declares Susi Lover the winner of this debate. Now they have they have kept their views. You know, if you look at Susi Lover and the Pizza Lover, blah blah blah, and it like is in reputation, so you can keep going up and you can read it. You know how they have presented it. Pizza Lover is saying discuss something that brings joy to our palates and warms our hearts pizza blah 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 classic margarita loaded supreme or innovative dessert pizza and, and talking about some food so this is how you can create a group of agents guys that can interact and then you can have a judge very simple use case that I wanted to cover but you can you can replicate the same for other use cases as well and you can use AutoGen. A good start to use AutoGen for your building AI agents. If you are learning AI agents, I'll recommend you use. Uh, you first start with Crew AI and AutoGen, and once you have enough un understanding of how these works, because they are all high-level API wrappers, and you know, Crew AI has been created on top of LangChain. So once you understand these, then you can write your own custom agents, you know, uh, from scratch. And then you can use LangGraph and all, which is more uh, stateful, graph-based, blah, blah, blah. So you can have a look at those agent frameworks as well. Now I'll give this code on my GitHub repository so you can, uh, you know, you can use this. Now if you have any question, thoughts, feedbacks, do let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channel. Find those information in the channel banner and the channel description uh, in this video description. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.